So, how is everyone? I hope you are all well. I had my nose pierced. But look, look, it's not what you think. For those of you who have been around the channel a while, you'll remember the air situation. The Traeger's piercing. Now, Hayden wanted to have his air pierced, and I thought, do you know what? He was a bit, he was a bit skittish about it. He thought, is it going to hurt? So I said, look, I'll go with you and I'll have something pierced. Just to show you that it's all right, because that's what you do, isn't it? And that went completely wrong. They put the bar in it that was too small, it pulled it into my ear, and subsequently got lodged inside my ear. Freya, she's coming up to 14 years old, and she has gone on about having her nose pairs for a long, long time. I know what some of you are going to think. You can't do that. She's too... Look, she's 14 years old. She can make up her own decision on what she wants. It's not up to us to dictate certain things you know we make sure that she is safe she is fed she is well educated she has good manners all of that sort of stuff but if she wants to have her nose pierced and it doesn't it's not dangerous to her look then she's going to get it done but she was worried that it might hurt so what did i go and do i went and got mine done to see if that hurt so i could relay the information to her I'm an idiot. Anyway, straight into the meat and potatoes. What are we talking about? We're talking about Taylor Mosley. And look, a lot of you will have already heard this horrendous, horrendous story. Some of you may not have, but I thought I would give you my take on it. Because this is something, this kind of, this kind of crime is just something that bewilders me. It bewilders me. You know, we've seen multiple cases over the years where adults have done things to their partners, they've done things to their children. And when it comes to a child and how defenceless a child is, I just, I just don't get it. I, just, I, don't, I do not understand. You know, we've got the upcoming Letitia Storch trial, which is, has been going on for some time. This, well, her trying to say that she was insane but we're finally going to get her in, in court. And it, it, I just, it, it, I'm speechless because of it. It makes me speechless because I just don't understand how an adult can conclude that they need to do this to a child. But anyway, I've got it here. So this is the father of Taylor Mosley. He's been charged with two counts of first degree murder for the child and for the stabbing death of the boy's mother, 20 year old Passion Jeffrey. Um, St. Petersburg Police Chief Anthony Holloway said officers were investigating the area of Dell Holmes Park when they spotted an alligator with an object in its mouth inside Lake Major. Probably got that wrong. Um, Officer had filed around the alligator, which killed it, forced it to drop, and it turned out to be the body of this young boy. Um, his body was retrieved, though police said it's not clear how the boy died or if he was dead before he ended up in the lake. It is believed that this boy's father had had an altercation with a mother, which led to him stabbing her to death. He then took the boy, I don't know whether the boy was attacked in the home where he was taken and he was dumped in this water. As things coming out as time progresses, obviously this is a, quite a vigorous investigation. But I just don't, I just don't get it. I, do, I just, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yet again, that we see a situation where a young defenceless child becomes collateral damage to what an altercation between the the adults because of what because we've got a narcissism situation in in the relationship and on that note tonight ten forty five British summertime that's a laugh summertime but British summertime um, we'll be doing the live on specifically looking at relationships narcissistic relationships abusive violent relationships so come over and have a look we'll be touching on some other things that was requested but like i say with this is this what we're seeing here is this an issue between the adults is this a, a jealousy is this some form of altercation over their relationship that's then fallen onto the child what I don't get is why can't these people, if there is, 
children in in a relationship that is suffering because of you know the relationship itself then why don't you just eject the child from it like i get these situations where the female or even the male i'm not going to be sexist because it can happen both ways you know violent relationships can can come from either the female or the male it's more more frequently the male being the abuser certainly but let's not make the bones about it it, it can go, go both ways but look, I can understand when people feel that they can't get out of a relationship, that they don't know how to get out of it. But when the abuse starts touching the child, that's then when I can't work out the decision to keep the child in it. Or is it just that the person is so oblivious to what is going on that when they see the child being affected, they don't see it, they're blind to it? And that's something that we're going to touch on, like I say, later. But yeah, this little boy. I found him. He was missing. There's a vigorous search, and they have sadly found him in that manner. And I just, I just don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. This is the world that we live in. We've currently got other cases where other children are still missing. We've got Oakley Carlson. Um, where's Oakley Carlson? You know, her ex-cop father and her druggy mum. Um, the other children have been taken into custody because of narcotics and they won't talk. Harmony Montgomery, not that long ago, she'd been missing for uh, over two years and it turns out that the father had obviously murdered his child. We've got Michael Vaughan who was missing, Summer Wells who was missing, and the many, many hundreds more. These are just the ones that have become viral on social media and caught our attention. But there's far too many. It's far too many. We do have good news in the fact that the couple who were on the 15 most wanted list have been detained in Mexico. They um, have been charged with both murder and child trafficking charges. It's been an ongoing battle to try and get them. Um, I will cover that a bit more in depth on another video, but I'm sure some of you have seen that. But no, they have been arrested. But that's me. Let me know down below what you think. What is this just the new normality? Is this just something that we have to put up with now, where children are just going to consistently be fall out to violent relationships, narcissistic relationships, and there's nothing that can be done about it. Let me know down below and I'll catch you all in the next one.